Sinduja, from the embryology lab point of view, aren't you, you know, little concerned about uh, what medications we are giving or what kind of protocols uh, are we using? Do you think that knowledge is required for the embryologists? Absolutely, ma'am. So I think we have all evolved in such a way that uh, right from the day you start the stimulation for a patient or when we come to know that you're going to do a stimulation for a patient, we go through the entire history and see what she has gone through previously. And if there's any alteration that is required from the lab side, we make it well in advance and we make sure all the things that we need for any advanced procedure is available well in advance so that we don't miss out on whatever that has not been done the previous time. Yeah, so you were asking me like, you know, uh, what if, you know, things really go, didn't go in our favor in the first time. So I think we both sit together and, you know, discuss the patient uh, profile. For example, if we have given a particular trigger this time, there are always, you know, a uh, question from your end whether could we use any different kind of trigger next time to have more maturity. Exactly. Like we always discuss how many mature eggs. For us, it's not the numbers, it's about the quality and maturity, right, which you're all more worried about. Yes, ma'am. So we are always saying more quality than quantity when Absolutely. you give us the oocytes or the eggs. Yeah.